Have you ever taken time to examine the structure of hymns in a hymnal? For example, in this first hymn I would like to show you, uh, this hymn here is the tune St. Thomas, a traditional 18th century style hymn. And then here it is sung to the text, I love thy kingdom, Lord. Let's count the number of syllables in each phrase, okay? This is the basis of our structure. If we look here, we have six syllables in phrase one, six syllables in phrase two, eight syllables in phrase three, and six syllables again in phrase four. Six, six, eight, six. This is the sequence of the text phrases. Uh, and, uh, of course, four phrases make a quatrain. And we have almost all hymns are based on a four-line structure. Uh, but uh, the vast majority are. Now, with that in mind, let's take a look to the back of the hymnal. In some hymnals, it may be the front. But there's a number of indexes in the hymnals. One of them here is called the metrical index. Metrical index of tunes. And here we have stated in a formula the number of syllables that occur in all of these different hymns. And, and as you can see, there's well over 100 different combinations of text lengths for these different phrases and quatrains. There's actually three formulas that are so popular in texts in our hymnals that they are given abbreviations if we were to look to, let's say, this first one, I'll introduce you to LM. That stands for long meter. And in this meter, we have four phrases. That's a quatrain of four phrases. And in each phrase, we have eight syllables. So it's eight, 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 abbreviated LM. Now, another one here is called common meter. And in common meter, we have a little bit different. The first and third lines are eight syllables. The second and fourth lines are six syllables. So in sequence, eight, six, eight, six. That's common meter. And then another one is abbreviated SM, meaning short meter. Now that's like that hymn we just looked at. I love thy kingdom, Lord. Its meter is shown here in the hymnal, SM. And it is 6686. Six, so what are we going to do with all this information? Well, knowing about the number of syllables and the structure of prose that we find in our hymn text is going to be helpful when we want to write a new text and sing it to a familiar hymn in the same meter. We're going to get to that in another lesson.